This is Devin with the Cage Rage Podcast. This is the CRP Minute, and big news has came out tonight. And here's the headline. And I chose this headline for a reason. This headline in particular uh, from M- MMA Junkie: UFC Champ Max Holloway rematches Dustin Poirier for interim lightweight title at UFC 236. Um, that's something that a lot. I, I, I wanted to choose that headline because I think that's something a lot of people might not know right offhand that this this will be a rematch and um this was this was quite this was a surprising announcement i actually predicted dating back to when october 6th when khabib mauled mcgregor we immediately started thinking about what's next because we knew after the brawl that there would be suspensions and that that division is just so stacked with talent and hungry competitors and a lot of other um, interesting variables that could come into play that we didn't exactly know what would happen next. And I predicted that at the time, I predicted that Connor would probably fight a Diaz trilogy, which I've later, at this point, I believe he's going to fight Donald Cerrone, and that the UFC would end up making an interim title fight with Tony Ferguson versus Dustin Poirier. Um, while Khabib sat out of suspension. And then the winner would fight each other. Then the winner of Poirier and Tony would fight uh, Khabib. Well, I uh, I was wrong on this. and But this wasn't their original plan, apparently. Apparently, uh, according to Dana White, Tony's Ferguson was obviously offered, which I don't see how he couldn't have been offered. If anybody was going to get an interim title fight right now, it would have had to have been Tony Ferguson while Khabib sits out. He's won 11 straight fights. He's the number one contender, clearly. But they were going to do it against Max Holloway, who's never even fought at the lightweight division. But he is the featherweight champion at 145 pounds. So they were just going to you know, push Poirier out and do it with uh, Ferguson and Holloway, and they uh, they decided to go with uh, Dustin and Max after Tony apparently turned this down, and we'll get to that here in, more in a minute. But yeah, here's here's uh, the finish of the first time they fought between Poirier and Max, and um, the the number one note to keep in mind here, just like with Max Holloway's loss to Conor, decision loss to Conor McGregor after this fight. In that photo that you're seeing right now of Dustin submitting Max with a mounted uh, triangle slash armbar, uh, Max was 20 years old in that fight. Max has become Max Holloway since this fight. He, he's seven years later. He's 27 years old and on a dozen fight win streak and has beaten the greatest featherweight of all time twice, badly finishing him and just just beat Brian Ortega to a pulp and you know he, he's become the great Max Holloway that we know of now but going back to Tony when we look at Tony Ferguson he's been saying he said something interesting on uh, Twitter last night he said that I have been offered a fight but not sure if it meets our standards standards the way the way these people write man I have been offered a fight but not sure if it meets our standards crew we deserve better for the amount of work and support we put in. Support we put in. Team El Kukui. Champ shit only. Um, sorry for getting a little bit distracted distracted by the, the horrible grammar and spelling in that tweet. But so much is tying into this. This is big news for this division because this division... Is just so stacked already, and when we look at what's going on with this division, you got Max Holloway on top of the featherweight division, and he's already beat Jose Aldo twice, and he's beaten Brian Ortega. And there's not really too many big names except for maybe Frankie Edgar, who lost to Brian Ortega recently. So it was an evident, and he's a huge, huge featherweight that can definitely move to lightweight so this is no surprise that he's making this move in his career now but when we look at at lightweight it is just so stacked you got Khabib serving a suspension you got Tony Ferguson who's the clear number one contender on an 11 fight win streak you got guys like Dustin Poirier and Ally Aquina who are 
all in good roles. Iaquina just beat Kevin Lee. Dustin Poirier has knocked out Justin Gaethje and Eddie Alvarez. And it's almost like Conor McGregor's being completely forgotten, especially keeping um, keeping in mind the GSP re- retirement from yesterday. And nobody's really hearing much about Conor, who it's looking like he's most likely going to fight Donald Cerrone, but anything could change. And now you throw Max in the mix, especially when I do not even think I, I, I've been on here on the CRP talking about the GSP retirement and how I don't buy a a single word of it. I think it's a publicity stunt. If he wants to fight Khabib and Khabib wants to fight him and they're saying that the UFC doesn't want to make it happen, that just doesn't make any sense to me. I mean, that's a two million plus pay-per-view by fight. It's a huge fight. And now they're, they're offering Tony an interim title fight. And you had Dustin and Iaquina frustrated yesterday telling them that they should just release him. They're going to bring Max up to fight um, Tony. And, you know, they, they, they were lo- they're looking at the idea of GSP saying that he wants to fight with Khabib. And now he's done this press conference to retire and getting his name out. There's so much going on there. And one of the first questions I have is what happens to the featherweight division now? If he's moving up, uh, are they gonna? Does this mean Jose Aldo might walk into another title fight because he's expressed interest in fighting in May at 2:37, and Brian Ortega has been the rumor. So does this does this mean Jose Aldo might might end up in another featherweight title fight? Does Max is Max going to try to hold on to this as he climbs up the ranks of lightweight? We don't know. It's 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 very interesting. And right now, when we look at UFC 236, it's be, it's going to be a headliner of two interim title fights. You got Holloway and Poirier for the interim lightweight title, and Gaslam versus Adesanya for the interim middleweight title. So those are great fights. Um, the, the UFC definitely did 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 a good job with this one because it's going to be a, it's going to be a profitable pay per view, but it just throws so much more into the log jam that already is at the top of 155 and it's so interesting but stay tuned to the crp we're going to keep covering it we're going to do more on this and when well, we can get the whole crew together so keep in touch hit the like button see you next time